Volume 14, Number 7, Canada Gazette, Part 3, Ottawa, Wednesday, February 19, 1992. Chapter 46, An Act Respecting Banks and Banking. Debt obligation means a bond, debenture, note, or other evidence of indebtedness of an entity, whether th secured or unsecured. Canada, Bills of Exchange Act. In the Bills of Exchange Act, a note means a promissory note. Financial Administration Act of Canada. Financial Administration Act of Canada, money, phone. Money includes, so you notice that word includes, negotiable instruments. Now, negotiable instruments affect the commerce. Negotiable instruments includes, notice that word again, any check, draft, traveler's check, bill of exchange, postal note, money order, postal remittance, and any other similar instrument. That's what money is. It's not just what you think you're carrying in your wallet with a picture of the Queen. Money is any negotiable instrument. Bank of Canada Act, it says notes, means notes intended for circulation in Canada. So, notes. So there's a lot of people here in Canada, in Quebec, that think this here, this stuff here, is the only thing that's money. This is not the only thing that's money here in Canada. This is one form of money that we can use, but there are other forms of money that we can use than just this. Now, money is a banknote, as I just showed you. It's 5, 10, 20, 50, 100 dollars and so on. In the, in the Financial Administration Act, it states that money includes. Now notice it says includes. If you understand what that's saying, it says it includes negotiable instruments. So then money is any negotiable instrument that constitutes money. Okay, it's not just dollar bills in your pocket. Now, in the same act, Financial Administration Act, it says a negotiable instrument includes. And notice again, they use the same word, includes. So they're really tightening this all down right now. It says any check, any draft, any money order, any stamp, or look, bill of exchange is considered money. So, according to their own regulations, money is not just what you carry in your pocket. Money is any negotiable instruments. And negotiable instruments are, as the list follows, any check, any draft, any money order, any bill of exchange, and the code actually says, and any other instrument that can be used in this term. So, it leaves open for a broad range of what money is. So according to Financial Administration Act, money is any bill of exchange. When you jump into the Bill of Exchange Act, you'll see that a note, with a title to be a note, means a promissory note. So your bill of exchange, in the form of a promissory note, is actually money. It's pretty clear, because they say that any negotiable instrument is to be considered money. They state that a bill of exchange is a negotiable instrument. So you jump into the Bill of Exchange Act and you see that a bill of exchange, it means a promissory note. A note means a promissory note. So therefore, when you sign a promissory note or a loan agreement with the bank, you are creating money. Now you think that you are borrowing money from the bank, but you are not. You are creating money. You are creating an asset for the bank. This is a loan documentation that I got from the bank when I applied for what I thought was a loan from the bank in 2008. You zoom in, now you see it's from the Bank of Montreal. It says full name of borrower, it's dated. Now look at the top there where it says personal loan and promissory note. So this is a personal loan and a promissory note together. Now. Now notice section A 
it states applicable to all loans. So here we go. You promise to pay to the order of bank at the branch named above the principal sum of $20,000. You will pay the principal interest and if applicable life and or disability insurance by paying $254.54 every two weeks starting on October 10th blah 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 so you promise to pay $20,000 to the bank the bank hasn't mentioned that they're gonna lend me any money yet all that this document has said is that I promise to pay them $20,000 so this is the page that they get you to sign when you think that you're applying for a loan but you're really creating a promissory note and this promissory note is increasing the assets of the bank now, I want to show you something here if you look closely that would be the signature of myself and my wife I just changed the names obviously now when you scroll to the right look at this there's a third signature you see that but now look at the title of the person who signed this I'm supposed to be taking a loan from the bank right so you would expect a bank representative of the BMO someone under that title would sign with me but look it says the only person who signed on this promissory note was a witness you see that it doesn't say bank representative it doesn't say BMO representative it just simply says witness well anybody in the free man organization they understand what a witness to a documentation is so she had no, nothing to do with this documentation she just witnessed the creation of it well then if she didn't sign and she didn't create it who created this promissory note and under what authority it was your signature that created this promissory note not the banks and you are not under obligation to pay the back the bank back anything for a promissory note you actually gave an asset to the bank